Speaker, on Friday, the government put out an urgent news release on the fisheries crisis. At 10.18 p.m. Nova Scotia time, they appointed a former Liberal politician to cover up their inaction on the fishery issue. The only thing the two sides agree on, Mr. Speaker, is that the fisheries minister is failing Nova Scotia. Mr. Speaker, we're months into this crisis. When is the government finally going to take the lives and livelihoods of Nova Scotians seriously? The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, actually, the people of Nova Scotia, and I believe the people of Canada, agree strongly on one thing, and that is that all of us want a peaceful, constructive solution to the fisheries dispute in Nova Scotia. All of us appreciate the importance, the preemptive, pre, uh, the hot, huge priority of honouring the rights of Indigenous people and First Nations in our country. All of us also understand the importance of conservation. That is the approach our government will take, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, the rights of Indigenous Canadians are important, and that's why it's disappointing the Prime Minister once again walked back a promise to end all boil watery advisories on Indigenous reserves by the end of 2021. Test results revealed harmful substances in the water at Neshkantiga, leading to a full-scale evacuation of the community. As winter begins to set in in northwestern Ontario, the people of Neshkantiga have been forced to flee their homes, this after living with boil water advisories for 25 years, Mr. Speaker. How many more walkbacks will there be from this Prime Minister to show that he cares? Will he get it done? The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, I am very glad to hear the Leader of the Official Opposition talk about the importance of ending boiled water advisories, and I noted that he spoke about how this problem has been going on for 25 years. That's a time of both Liberal and Conservative governments. And I would say we have a shared responsibility, all members in this House, to address the huge historical injustices against Indigenous people. We are working hard to end the boiled water advisories, and we will end them.